allowed to go on to go on, and we need to go in and correct it, correct it. I did a speech in Las Vegas for that a couple years ago, and, and uh, I said that America needs an enema, and we need to stick the tube at 1600 Pennsylvania Avenue, and don't quit, quit squeezing the bottle until the House, the Senate, the legislative, the judiciary, and, 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 and all these branches are purged and flushed. And a guy in the background said, well, little dog, you're talking about a revolution. I said, no, I'm talking about an enema. We've got to get this straight. we got to flush the shit. You know what I mean? we got a great nation. we got a great government. And we, and, and we the people, have to take control back of this. Yeah. We've yeah. got to take control back. We've allowed these people to overrun us, overreach us, and, and grab power and take control over our very liberties and rights. The things that made this nation great in the first place. We are the gathering of the eagles. We're the fresh start to make this, to return our nation back to the greatness that our forefathers brought about in the very concept of what America is really all about. It's we the people. We the people. Not them or those or and me, 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 mine, mine, mine. It's us. We are what this is all about. The framework is sound. Yes, sir. And we just have to give it an enema. Flush the shit. You know what I mean? I mean, I don't mean, you know, yeah. I don't know. You know what I'm saying, guys. You know, it's, my, yeah. it's my way, of, my analogy of it, kind of, sort of speaking. You it's know, a beautiful kind of analogy. It's eloquent. <laughs> yes. Well, thank you. Truly, beautifully <laughs> tasteless. Is, we gotta flush the shit. Yeah, we gotta the get shit. the shit out of the halls of Congress. When I spoke in Congress, I told, I had this beautiful diatribe and speech made out and told them, I know. I was overwhelmed by where I was at that I went blank until I see Maxine Waters. And when I see Maxine Waters, it just flooded. We, the people of this great nation, have got to come to the realization that the colors of this country are red, white, and blue, not white, brown, and black. And the sooner we come to that realization, the more cohesive our social structure can be. Don't get me started. I can go on. This is, this is serious. Can we, there's people in these halls, those halls, that use these the racial thing as political in, uh, divisions to create the discourse and division for their own political gain. And it's the problem with this country, these greed and envy and, and ego and, and, and the, the money, um, it's pure evil, pure evil. I gotta get off the attack, I get pissed off. <laughs> <laughs> get back to where we can deal with it. Thanks little dog. American hero. Where's your dog? She's an American hero. Uh, she's around here somewhere. I think she's probably more of a hero almost. Somewhere. Anyway. Hey, place. Hey, hey. Here she comes. Where's she Talk a little bit about the dog. Hey, 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 hey. Tell a story about dragging the hey, drug hey, smuggler hey, hey. up out. the hill by one ankle. Out there digging through the garbage, weren't you? <laughs> <laughs> well, the story is uh, what happened was uh, one night on patrol down in the Sonora Desert, she uh, uh, gaffled up a uh, 18, 19 year old drug smuggler, and there was an inclined hill about Oh, I'm gonna say, you know, 30 degrees or so, and she would had him by the the cuff leg, dragging him up the hill backwards with a 40 pound bag of dope on the back of his, <laughs> his shoulders, and he's climbing the dirt, and kicking at her, and I'm standing with my triple beam flashlight, and uh, the border patrol rolled up, and he says, "Call off the dog, call off the dog," and I said, "Fuck that, get the camera, man, we'll be millionaires on you." <laughs> <laughs> and she had him by the cuff and was dragging him uphill. She's not backwards. playing. Just, we call her the ugly dog. People say, well, why do you call her an ugly dog? I said, when she's hanging on your cuff at 3 o'clock in the morning, she's an ugly dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's a true story, gentlemen. Yeah. She See, has a plaque at the wall, on the wall at the Cutley substation in, 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 in San Diego, Oklahoma sector, where uh, the Border Patrol agents actually chipped in a dollar, two dollars, and bought her a, a 24 inch brass plaque, and they've engraved in Freckles USBP in her her, uh, her actions for uh, apprehending, actually uh, apprehending drug smugglers. Last August, she got uh, five trucks and 17,000 pounds, and then she backed it up with three more trucks and 12,000 pounds. That was just last year's total. And oh, man. And kind of wrapped up in this. So uh, she's already outdone the DEA. Uh, <laughs> she definitely got more than Metro Sheriff did in Clark County, Nevada. <laughs> <laughs> this is the caliber of people we got up in here. All beautiful patriotic Americans, and that's the message we're trying to get out. Praise God and hooyah! Hooyah! hooyah!